What's up, everybody? It's Quaylen here uh, from Earth Nutritional Elements. I want to thank you guys for coming in, going live, so that I can discuss with you what I'm currently doing, my current situation. Um, <clears throat> I, I love. I normally participate in the uh, YouTube University. That's a school that I go to, um, and I know that many of you are also students of YouTube University. I know the colleges have failed us. They haven't taught us how to do much for ourselves, but YouTube University definitely has, you know, uh, a resolve to make sure that uh, my subscriptions only, or I'm only subscribed to those individuals that uh, are my friends and that help me, such as Alan Watts, Neil Donald Watts, Edgar Tolley, um, you know, books like The 48 Laws of Power, written by Robert Greene, that type of information. But also, things that I'm doing in my life, I wanna make sure that um, um, I'm participating and I'm, I'm paying attention to those on the same frequency as I am. So I'm currently uh, into weightlifting and getting my body nice and tight. However, I'm a vegan, you know, I'm on a plant-based diet, you know what I mean? So um, it's important that what I'm doing is also on that frequency. So, I listen to a guy named Brandon Carter. He's a weight trainer, you know, how to get ripped. Um, even though he's not a vegan, that's fine. It doesn't matter to me. Everyone can be a friend and everyone can help. And um, he he talks about this diet that you call it a, a, a ketosis, uh, the, keto, the keto diet. And, and upon further research, what I found out is that it's pretty popular. It's a fad right now. You know, many people are, are doing it, you know, they're doing the, the keto diet. And I know there have been so many diets in the past. Um, and then, you know, you have your pros and your cons, you have your reviews of those diets. So I'm pretty sure that this is just another one of those diets, uh, which is fine. You know, there are many diets, you know, I'm in the plant world, you know, the healthy, the, the healthy plant world. So, you know, I'm paying attention. I'm looking at juice fads, fasting, um, breatharianism, not even people not even eating. So I've come across, you know, you got the Savy diet, you got the Dr. Morris, you know, the, the types of diet that Dr. The Dr. Morris puts you on, which is a high fruit uh, diet. And you just have many different ways that you can consume for your your personal um, um, intention, whatever it is that you're intending to do. So I was interested with ketos, with the keto diet after doing research. And I'm just gonna talk about what I've learned. So ketosis, first of all, and I have my notes and I, I, I want to make sure I have my notes so that I don't um, say the wrong thing. So, you know, ketosis basically is the process of burning fat. Um, so in other words, if we're not intaking carbohydrates, you know, um, let's say we do a prolonged exercise. Let's say we're running, we're running, we're exercising, you know, maybe we do a marathon or something like that. At some points, we you know, we'll be out of carbs and the body's going to start um burning fat you know that's the state of ketosis because it's the fat is being burned it's the fat is being used as fuel uh starvation you know when you're starving you know you, there's no more carbs obviously the body is going to chew on fat um fasting whenever we're fasting you see how fast people lose weight on fasting it's because the body goes into a state of ketosis the liver creates the liver creates this this substance called ketones whatever it is in the body however it looks it creates a substance called ketones and then it, then it does what to do to to go out there it, it, it's deployed and then it burns your fat cells and as opposed to uh, your sugars because there aren't any sugars to burn you know it's, it's your, your the fuel is the fat you know so obviously if you're burning fat you have fat on your stomach and then you're exercising your stomach you're doing hit training a uh, high intensity interval training you're going to burn that fat right so that's kind of the that's kind of the basis of um of ketosis all right um now on on the, on the keto on the keto diet <coughs> i'm going to bypass all the various different things and obviously i'm speaking to the plant-based world um there are so many other videos out on the the keto diet of ketosis, you can just skip and you just go directly to those. But those that are on a plant-based diet, a vegan diet, and 
you're interested in losing fat, you know, because obviously there are a bunch of fat vegans out there. Let's just be honest with ourselves. And you know? um but but we're that because we we're not really aware of what we're eating. We don't know what foods do what. So the objective is to basically reduce your carbohydrate intake. Um, you know, I've seen 35 grams of protein, no more than 35 grams of protein a day, and that's and that's really not a lot of that's really not a lot, you know, 35 grams of not protein, excuse me, of carbohydrates. And again, that's really not a lot. Um, but it's doable because you're eating other foods that the body can be sustained off of, such as um, avocados, uh, tomatoes. Um, where's my list? And these are the foods that you can eat. Broccoli, um, the beet greens, not the beet itself. We're going to get to why not the beet itself. Uh, the endive, tongue ho, which is growing in our yard. Um, you know, alfalfa. You know, mung bean, collard greens, you know, all of your green leafy vegetables, obviously, your green leafy vegetables. So, and that's what you're hearing here. You know, your lettuce, your green, uh, uh, celery on here, mustard greens, uh, you know, iceberg lettuce. It has radish on here. And then it has all the total carb, all the total carb counts on here as well. So, I'm looking for a list, I'm looking for my list that I got offline. And um, I like the list because it resonates. Now, there are some foods on here that I won't eat. We all like certain foods, you know what I mean? Different foods for different bodies. Um, they have avocado on here, I love it. They have mushroom on here, I love it. And they have spinach on here, you know, and the asparagus, so that's awesome. So I like this because it's doable for me because my objective is to be healthy. That has always been my objective is to be healthy. So I want to approach this diet of carb curbing, but at the same time, while I'm, I'm doing carb curbing, I wanna make sure that I'm eating, you know, a healthy, healthy choice of foods. Now, also they have on here zucchini, summer squash, tomatoes, um, uh, you know, you know, uh, chayote, bell peppers, tomatoes, and cherry tomatoes, eggplants. Um, I would say mushroom, bitter melon, so an okra, so the jicama, tomatillos, uh, jalapeno pepper, you know, the scallions, you know, the green onions. They have scallions on here, um, and and there's there's more, there's much more. There's a whole other onion, acorn squash, butternut squash. You know, you know some squashes like the butternut squash and the acorn squash are you know it's kind of it's kind of kind of moderate like you know the acorn squash is more of like a moderate food because um, it has it's a, it's a starchy. You know your acorn squash, your butternut squash are it's starchy. It's not as starchy as your potato, but it's gonna it's gonna add those um, it's gonna it's gonna pack on those carbohydrates and for the for the keto diet those are things that are being restricted um, for the purpose so that the body can go into ke uh, ketosis so that it can burn those fat for people that are trying to burn um for the people that are trying to burn fat you know because that's the that's the main objective here uh, you know on the keto diet the main object the main the main objective is to burn fat and the angle that i'm coming in is all right, let's take a look at this. Let's experience, let's experience and experiment with it before being biased and saying, no, that's not going to work, yada, 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 yada. You know, and um, like I said, when I when I saw it two days ago, it resonated with me. Then I got on Facebook and I saw a post of people saying something about the keto diet and I saw people trashing it. But I know that people aren't doing the keto diet because these people are fat or they're flabby. Um, you know, like myself, I've gotten flabby. I picked up like that's 30 pounds, 20 pounds <coughs> in, in 12 months because of because of whatever. Um, so I want to experiment. I want to experiment with it. And because I lead a plant-based lifestyle, I want to do the keto diet with the plant-based lifestyle. And I'm loving it because I'm able to get all of these vital chemicals, vital, vital nutrients into my body. Um, you put your green leafy vegetables. Um, so we just make sure that the foods that you're eating are are low in carbohydrates. Um, obviously, great. You know the the nutrient content that you want from the food is gonna is is is, is gonna be what takes you to the next level. Because I don't believe that 
those on the standard American diet that are eating uh, from the keto diet are really paying attention to their, their, their nutrient intake. I believe that they're buying maybe supplements from a store, but at the end of the day, the supplements have to come from elements from the earth because that's the only thing that can that can that's that's the only thing that can that the body can entertain or <laughs> or carbons and hydrogen, and oxygen, and calcium, magnesium, and, uh, elements from the earth. Um, so that's all in your 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 green leafy vegetables and your fruits. All right. So kind of the things that that's, that that the keto diet says not to eat, which is going to be controversial, controversial for a lot of people on the plant based diet. But remember, keep in mind that we're talking about people that are looking to burn fat rapidly through a um, based on the scientific term of ketosis, the same with ketosis, ketosis is, which is burning fat and moving the carbohydrates so that the body can burn its fat. Uh, so that's the that's the approach. Remember, the approach is not all about getting everything in. The approach is burning fat. So let me get to that. Avoid. Let's go to the easier things. The things that we already know that are starchy. Your peas, your beans, your yams, your potatoes. Um, your legumes, you know, your yucca, your, your white rice, all of these things that are starchy. It's simple. I know we want that feeling, but I'm telling you that feeling is what causes the sugar to spike and to low and really throws the body out of balance. I mean, coming from your starches. That's how I gain weight. I was eating. Everything white, everything starts potato, rice, just breads for a long period of time, and it was just packing on a bunch of crap, a bunch of carbohydrates, but no nutrients, just a bunch of white, no carbons at all in there, just trash. So I understand it, and I had that experience. After losing 82 pounds, I went all the way down. I stayed there for a while and then my, my life changed and, and, and then I ended up eating a whole bunch of white type. I, now, what else don't we eat that the, that the keto diet says not to? It says fruits or the majority of your fruits because of the high content of carbohydrates. So um, it doesn't even have, there is a, there was actually a list of fruits that I didn't print out that you, you can eat, but I really don't need that list because I, I know what fruits that you can eat. But um, some some lists just say no fruits at all. Just stay, just stay away from your fruits, you know. Um, my take on that is, I mean, what are your goals? What are you trying to achieve? You know, are you trying to get ripped? You know, are you trying to live on the, on, on on such restrictions forever? You know. Um, it just depends on what you're doing. You know, one day someone is a is a cop, and the next day he said, "I don't want to be a cop anymore. I, I want to be a I want to start my own business. I'm not going to do that anymore." So life is always changing. So even though you can get on the keto uh, the keto diet, you get on the like the Atkinson diet, all these different diets. It's just not like it's going to be forever, you know. Um, but I think it's important just to find a, a balanced diet that you're really consistent with throughout your whole entire life. Um, but, you know, if you hop on something like what I'm doing, the keto diet, then you can mold that into your own. And um, so that's what I'm looking at, you know, and getting in and, and not eating the fruits is going to be kind of hard for me. Um, not eating the type of fruits that I, that I want to eat. Um, so, hey, Alice. <laughs> so um, one of the videos, uh, one of the, uh, so... We're looking at bananas. Obviously, we know that bananas is starchy. It's a, it's a starchy fruit, so that's number one that goes. Because I believe over the past three months that that's been the main fruit that has been adding on the the uh, carbohydrates and keeping me kind of hungry. Um, but the fruits that you can eat are your berries. Uh, those are low carbohydrates, you know. Um, your citrus fruits, you know, your key limes, you know, you want to do uh, lemons or, or grapefruits, the oranges or, or something like that, you know, 
that's low in carbohydrates, you know, it's um, highly, it's, it's highly, highly nutritious, but um, it's, it's, you know, you're going to have to eat a bunch of oranges for, for you to, uh, you know, get full, you know, at least for me, you know, for me to get full off oranges, I have to eat, you know, six or seven oranges and all right, I'm good. Um, my favorite food is mango, um, but I know that one or two mangoes, I'm full, so I know that I'm going to cut that out, I'm going to cut that off for now. Um, especially what I'm going to do, I'm doing this hit training. And like I said, hit training is high intensity um, training, meaning that let's say like this morning, I got up at six o'clock, I hit I hit the streets and I jog for about 30 seconds and I sprint for 20 seconds so that I can breathe, breathe, you know, get that um burn calories, essentially burn calories, burn carbohydrates, but really work the cardiovascular system. You know, I slow down. And once I'm at that level of where I need to sprint again, then I sprint again. And that's what HIIT training is. And you're going to do that for about 10 minutes. And after 10 minutes or 20 minutes or however hard you are, um, then that's it right there. So um, that's what's going on right now. Um, I just started studying uh, the HIIT right now. Um, the purpose of, of me doing this is it's always for me to service it's always for me to service other people. So, you know, in designing this, the keto vegan uh, um, program for myself, if, it, if, it's, if I'm successful and I'm still healthy and my blood work and my numbers are still great as they are, because when I went to the doctor, all my numbers were excellent. If they are still excellent eating, I, I, uh, eating primarily about 2,000 roughly for my size or less calories, but the majority of them are green leafy vegetables and, um, you know, you, you know your, your, your good nuts such as your walnuts, your Brazil nuts, your brazil nuts, or your, your hazelnuts, you know, it's for, so that I can get a really good fat intake and then, um, you know, no more than, definitely no more than uh, 50 grams, even though the recommendation is 35, I'm just saying no more than 50 grams of carbohydrates. So, um, and that's that's easily doable because I can eat cucumbers, I can eat zucchinis, um, I can eat tomatoes, I can eat okra, I can eat asparagus, all of these plant-based foods that are beasts full of nutrients, you know, cleanses the blood so that it can do what it you know, so that it can do what it do. Uh, I can really see this working and um and um cutting out the fruits and that are high in carbohydrates, I can see the fat shedding because I know that I know that I will shed the fat if I'm not consuming those carbohydrates. That's just something that I've learned over the years. So when I come across a keto diet, like I said, the objective is to make a program that if, it, if it's successful for me, then I can put it out there in a, in a package that I can present it to you know the plant-based world and to see how you guys enjoy that because I, I want. Like I said, I want to see other people reach their potential and, and do great. And sometimes we need help, you know. Um, I don't know everything, so I'm constantly learning on YouTube University from you guys out there. And um, I want to be able to present some information to you as well that, that, that you can benefit from. So, um, that's my phone just fell. I just got a case. It's on a tripod. My phone just fell. Um, I'm gonna have to put buying two dollar, one dollar gear. All right, I'm just gonna keep it off. I think it's messed up. All right. Um. So yeah, that's it. The keto, the keto, the vegan keto diet. Uh, I haven't even looked to see if the keto, the keto vegan diet is even in the. Uh, like when you type it in, if there are people even making that that type of diet, but um. Yeah, I'm, I'm sweaty. But yeah, I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that. So thank you guys for watching. Um, we do have a website. Our website is Earth's Nutritional Elements. We do have uh, services. Um, I primarily want to work with people in San Antonio, but I can do WhatsApp. I can do, um, you know, Google Duo. Just any means that people want to reach me and learn a little bit more about food. Like I said, 
um, ever since 2012, the beginning of 2012 or late 2011, um, I've been I've been working this uh, this plant based plant based diet, and I didn't come with the knowledge of what a vegan was, so I didn't start as a vegan. So tofu and uh, it's you know just the, just the stuff that you see in the store. I wasn't eating that. It was high nutrient, you know, mangoes, apples, orange, pears, grapes, that type of thing. So that's how I lost the 82 pounds. And I just did it with primarily fruit. I didn't even like greens. But now it's it's time to try something new, something different. So um, I want to be able to get that information to you. You know, I can show you guys how to lose weight anyways, how to get healthy anyways without the keto diet. But I think the keto diet is a small little program that can help you guys do it a little bit faster with a little bit of um like I said, dieting and exercise is always number one. And then um, improving the mental, you know, if the body follows the mind. So if you say that you're going to do it, then you're going to get there anyways. So um, Earth's Nutritional Elements. Um, I also have a Instagram, Earth's Nutritional Elements. I have a Facebook, Earth's, with the S at the end of Earth's Nutritional Elements. And my Facebook is my first name. I'll type it in. Love you guys.